Hi there, welcome to the Schwoven's Nest. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm starting to dig into my stash of stuff from thrift stores and the dollar stores and I've got three projects for you today. My first project is this pack of four coasters. They're ceramic and they have a really nice soft bottom. They were from HomeSense originally, but they came in a pack of stuff from the thrift store for $1.99, including some other coasters and I think some other little wreaths or something too. So these were a really good buy. Although these are really pretty, they're not my style and they're definitely not my colors. I am not a red person. So I'm going to give them a couple coats of Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. I'm going to do a couple things with these coasters. I'm going to do sort of a buffalo check, but I think it turns out looking more like a checkerboard on two of them. And then I'm going to do a grain sack stripe on the other two. So I'm just using my ruler and I'm going across with these flower petals and just making some lines across. And then I'm going to flip it and do some more lines across. And that's going to give me a nice little grid pattern so I can figure out what I want to paint. As you notice, the squares aren't all the same size, but I think that's going to add to the character of these coasters. I'm taking some painter's tape and I'm splitting it in half lengthwise. So I have thinner pieces to work with because I've got other places that I need to put the tape and the width of this painter's tape is too wide. So you'll probably get the idea as you see me do this. I'm using some black acrylic paint and a small brush and all of the white spaces that you see here except for in between the tape are all going to be painted black. I'm now just going to paint the four corners black. I'm actually going to take my pencil and give myself a little mark just to make sure I don't get distracted and then start painting the wrong thing. I'm gonna do my best to just freehand those lines and let that brush do the work for me, but I will need to use a smaller paintbrush to get into those really fine corners. For the next two coasters, I'm gonna use a black grain sack stripe. I've never done this before so I did have to look it up and there's a bunch of different styles but I'm going to go with the thick stripe in the center and then some smaller stripes on the sides. It took me a few tries with the painter's tape to get the stripes lined up properly. Those rounded edges were really giving me a hard time and I had to keep pulling the tape off until I got it right. I'm using my black acrylic paint again for the stripes. I want to keep these coasters looking kind of similar. So same colors, but just some different patterns. I did both of the wider stripes first because I needed to make sure that the paint was completely dry because for these second stripes, I'm going to need to put the painter's tape right on top of the black stripe. I wanted these coasters to have more of a rustic feel to them so I'm taking some fine grit sandpaper going across all of it but then pulling a little bit of the black off the edges just to give it a more of a distressed look. The final step to make them more water resistant is to use some matte Mod Podge and I'm going to give them two to three coats and make sure it dries really well in between. Project number two is 
it's super simple. I'm taking this wire basket. It's sort of a bronze color. I've had this in my house for probably eight to 10 years. It's had multiple purposes, but I've decided to do something a little different with it. The handles on this always fall down. And so I wanted to take some of this jute rope from the dollar store and wrap it around so the handle stays upright. I'm gonna start just by taking a little bit of hot glue and pulling the two handles together so it, it makes it easier for me to start wrapping the rope. Starting at one end, I'm gonna make sure that the cut end is at the bottom and then I'm just going to use hot glue to hold it in place and then start wrapping the rope all the way along until I get to the other end. Super simple, super easy, but it turns out really cute. I use some hot glue to secure it about every three or four loops. Project number three is using this pizza paddle. It's for putting a pizza on and shoving it into an oven and then pulling it back out again, um, or maybe just serving it or using it as a charcuterie board. But the wood on it is really nice. It was $4 at my local Dollarama store. So I've got a few of these in my stash and I've decided that I'm gonna start using them and maybe making some signs out of them. This one is gonna be in my bathroom and it's gonna have a coastal look. I like the wood, the wood tones on this and the wood grain is really pretty. So I'm just gonna take some white linen chalk paint and give it a bit of a dry brush. Since I had some leftover jute rope, I'm going to put some on the handle. I'm gonna wrap it around the same way that I did on the handle of the basket. So I'm gonna start off with some hot glue and then wrap it around six or seven times, gluing every second or third time it comes around the back. I picked up a pack of these stencils last year at a dollar store. They come in three different sizes. This is the large size. And as you can see, it's very easy to just get your stencil ready. There's multiple letters in each pack. So if they ever rip, I've got backups. So I really like using these. As you can see, I am spelling out the word lake because this is part of my coastal theme in my family room. And this bathroom is right off the family room. I'm using a piece of painter's tape just to make sure that my letters all line up nice and straight. When I was at the Home Depot a while ago, probably at least six months ago, I picked up this coastal blue color in a tiny little paint pot. I had misplaced it and I hadn't found it for the longest time, but I came across it again just a little while ago and I thought, oh, perfect, I've got my beautiful blue color back. I'm going to use this and just a regular paintbrush to stencil the letters on. Underneath the word lake, I'm putting life and I just wanted it to be smaller and in a little bit of a different font style. So I just went ahead and did some freehanding with pencil and now I'm just using the same coastal blue and a small paintbrush to trace it out. The last couple things that I did to the word life is I just roughed up the edges a little bit with the paintbrush. I just kind of blended them out a little bit, dry brushed around the edges a bit. And now I'm taking some of the Rust-Oleum 
chalk paint in linen white just to give them more of a look and feel like the word lake. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration to find some useful items in your stash to create some home decor that you love. If you liked my video, please like, comment and share, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. Thanks for watching.